Hello Year 6, welcome to Friday's English lesson. It's the last one of our home learning and it'll be fantastic that on Monday we'll all be back together, we'll be able to do English and all our other fantastic lessons together. So today we're going to finish off our room work with a fast paced narrative. So we're going to use the key events from the story to retell it, make sure those events are in order and we're going to look at creating pace in our writing. To begin with we're going to look at a waggle. I'm going to think about our dad waivers, the varied sentence openers, the short sentences that create tension, varied punctuation and repetition. And then we're going to look for, if you can get a pencil or a pen and your waggle in front of you, we're going to look for highlighting examples of those in our work. Um, I want you to think about what you can see has been used. Can you spot the flashback and can you spot the other sections of the chase scene that we use to create our storyboard in this work? Now your waggle will be slightly different to mine. But you have had all the different sections of this waggle sent home uh, in your pack. It's just come with different lessons. They're here, I whisper under my breath. Chop, chop, chop. The unmistakable sound of propellers slicing through the air. Terrifying. How did they find me? My pupils dilate. My palms begin to sweat. Every muscle in my body is twisted and contorted. I have to fight to move. Fight or flight. This was not the time. Will I be able to reach it in time? Without a moment's hesitation, I flee. Running as quickly as my legs can carry me, I try to get away. Coward. Above me, the monster appears, a demon from hell. Enormous wings block out the sun and an ear-piercing siren sounds to tell the others. Fear creeps into my bones and my legs feel suddenly weak and shaky. As the sound of rotors above my head grows closer, I turn my head to glance up at the darkening sky. A misplaced foot finds a hidden rock in my pathway, and my weight carries me forward onto the hard, dusty floor. Thud. Pain surges through my ankle like a snake bite, and I only have seconds to clutch it and catch a breath. I have to get up. I have to move. I have to reach my bike. Chop, chop, chop. This time I don't look. Before I know it, I am up and running again, running for my life. Hurriedly, I dive onto my bike. Exiting the tunnel... My bike roars into life. She's ready. I'm ready. Overhead, the sky darkens as the demon arrives. They'll never let me get away. It's a fight to the death. Come on, I spit through gritted teeth. Enormous, earth-shattering bullets begin firing at me. I ride. They're close. Too close, but I ride. I ride because their lives depend upon it. My stare is fixed and resolute. Every ounce of me feels alive, electrified. Bang, 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 bang. They're so close. I feel the air near my cheek move. So close. This is how it ends? This is it. I reach for my sword. Electricity crackles, buzzes and runs through it. We face off. Goodbye, old girl. I jump. My bike hurtles towards the ground. At that moment, I close my eyes and picture her standing next to me. Her perfume washing over me like the warm ocean. I drink it in. She turns to look at me. Her smile, her beautiful smile, fills me with joy. How could I ever live without her? Sunshine pours through the windows of our kitchen and dances around the walls of our apartment. Life is good. It's been such a prosperous year and it's only going to get better. Giggling in her high chair, Supo is happily eating her breakfast. She's growing up so fast. She's our whole world. I ruffle the top of her hair and she squeals in delight. I smile broadly to myself and turn to face my wife. But then the smile fades as the light stops playing on the walls and the sound of laughter can no longer be heard. And I am here, alone, as my sword plunges into the back of the beast. It shudders and shakes, crackling and jolting as shockwaves overload its system. Fizz, hiss, electrocuted. Tumbling uncontrollably to the ground, we land in a pile. I release the blade from its juddering metal body. My heart thuds audibly in my chest and my hands tremble around the hilt of the sword. Maybe one day my luck will run out, but not today. Today I will continue my quest. I will find them. So there you go, that was our waggle. So you can see lots of the Dad Waver's things in there. You can see lots of the short sentences, the metaphorical language, the figurative language that's been used. Magpie from there if you can or if you want to, and then use that to inspire your own writing. Look forward to seeing some wonderful finished pieces. Uh, please feel free to send me either a recording of your reading it or 
just a picture of what you've done. It'd be wonderful to see. Last day, keep going. Last day of English at home. Doing really, really well.